The multiplication property of inequality has two cases. One where our c value is greater than zero, and one where our c value is less than zero. We're going to begin by looking at case one, which basically says that if we have a less than b and we have c greater than zero, so we have a positive value, well then a times c is going to be less than b times c. Now this inequality for the a less than b right here, that can also be a is greater than b, a is less than or equal to b, a is greater than or equal to b. What it basically says is that when c is greater than zero, that multiplication process will not change the direction of the inequality sign. Okay, so let's take a look at what that means. So let's say that we start off with a problem that said one half x is greater than seven. Okay, and let's say that the problem, maybe this problem said to solve. So we'll start off with just a basic kind of problem here. All right, well, what we're looking for then is what can I multiply both sides what can I multiply by in order to get the x by itself? So we're always trying to get this x by itself. All right, well, in this case, I need to multiply both sides by 2. Well, what am I multiplying by? I'm multiplying by a positive value. So 2 is definitely greater than 0. So that works for the c value. That's our c right here. So this says because it's positive, our inequality will stay the same. So the twos here will reduce out. The x will come straight down because two times one half or two divided by two is one. The inequality will not change according to this property. And the two times the seven will give us 14. Okay? so. Inequality does not change direction as long as we're multiplying both sides by a positive value. Let's look at one more like that. So let's say we had you solve, and let's say I gave, um, I don't know, let's say we did something like one third is less than or equal to, um, let's do one fifth x. Okay, so we've got some ugly fractions. We've got numbers here. I'm still trying to figure out where this x value is. So here's my x. Okay, so what do I need to multiply by in order to get rid of that one fifth? Well, in order to get rid of the one fifth, I'm going to multiply by five here and five here. Okay, again, the five and the five will reduce out. And because that's a positive value, remember, 5 is definitely greater than 0. So what does that do to our problem over here? Well, over here we get 5 over 3 less than or equal to x. So if I was to rewrite that so that it looked kind of the correct order for us to read it, it says x is greater than or equal to five thirds because remember when we read we always read from the variable and so our final answer right there and that's how this property applies